time before you go Morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Currently half five. The lads are getting here at seven o'clock. I've got up a little bit earlier just to get the boat ready, but the uh, the weather's looking really good. There's not any sunshine, unfortunately, but there's not a breath of wind. Yeah, so I'm just gonna make myself a coffee, load the boat up, and then we're gonna head into Plymouth, launch the boat, and then uh, go from there. So I'll see you when we, uh, once we're in the water. Once I jumped in the water, I quickly realised how good the visibility was out here. Crystal blue, just like somewhere abroad. So I moved closer to my mark, did my breathe up and dropped down to roughly 7 metres. Initially there was only a few small pollock and then in the distance emerged two small bass. A good sign that there was probably more bass in the area. Once I was on the surface, I looked over to my left. There was a shoal of larger bass sitting mid-water just checking me out. So I quickly did my breathe up and went back down. With plenty of legal sized bass around, it was hard to pick the bigger one out of the bunch. So I decided to wait out and try the other side of the pinnacle. Quickly met by three mullet cruising over the top of the kelp. Again, hesitating a bit too much here, I nearly missed the opportunity on this one, but managed to land a poor shot on the back end of the fish. Having not given up on the bass, I went back to where I first saw them and tried to relocate the shoal and pick out a larger fish. I played the waiting game once again and finally managed to land a decent fish.
It slipped out of my hands a couple of times whilst I was trying to dispatch the fish and it just goes to show how if your shot placement isn't on point and you run into the same sort of issue then you could lose the fish potentially uh, and it could swim off. Happy with the nice sized bass and the mullet I caught previously, I decided to call it a day and I waved the lads over. On the way back in whilst I was gutting the bass, we dropped a few lines and hoped for a ling or you know something similar and my friend Fred managed to get a conger eel just off a wreck outside of the breakwater. That's fine! <laughs> He's over there. Ding, ding. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's a conger! Oh mate, my fing <laughs> arm! Oh. Oh, it's come up, it's come up. Oh, nice. Weight's come up again. Say anything, but you, you, but you lost it in the boat. boat. <laughs> <laughs> what the play? Mate, wow. Mate, I need you boys some weight, sorry. That was close. Yeah. <laughs> Red's going back in. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's on you now. <laughs> There we have it, that's all the fish packed up. Such a good idea and it's a lot better way to freeze the fish. Um, or if, you know, if you're just giving them to family and friends, it's a much more presentable way to uh, hand them some, uh, some fish. Most of the fish went in the freezer and some was given out to family and friends, but I decided to keep the wings for myself. Keeping it very simple, I covered the wings or the pieces of fish in breadcrumbs. Firstly, I dipped it into some flour, then into some uh, some egg, again making sure that every piece of the fish is covered, and then finally into the breadcrumbs. Then I shallow fried the wings in some oil for about 5-10 to ten minutes either side until golden brown. It's unreal. These breadcrumbs and that uh, mix is really good. You know, for a part that I would normally chuck away if I was uh, filleting the bass or a fish, there's so much meat on there. Obviously, I would eat it if I was um, eating the fish whole, because uh, you know you can you can get to it a lot easier once it's cooked. But if you're filleting a fish, you know, and you've never taken the wings off before. It'd be silly not to, there's so much meat on there, but that's literally all meat. So, 
that big bones just come out, they fall out once it's cooked. That's almost like the shoulder blade. Now I was going to cook up the uh, the bass fillet as well. Um, I didn't quite realise how much meat was on these wings. Now I'm not going to be able to eat all of it, so I'm going to have that for tea. I'm not going to show it on the video. 